what's up my babies and welcome back to the channel i am feeling myself and i just came to gloat i if i keep doing my hairline and installing these wigs like this i'm definitely going to be putting for booking in my bio on instagram and on facebook and telling everybody to send me some clients because guess what I have came a long way in the hair and wig game and even though I am not a licensed cosmetologist I feel like I've been able to practice and make perfect like I feel like I am so proud of myself and the icing on the cake is that I had two daughters so as they go through life from childhood toddlerhood middle school high school adulthood if they get their hair done for the wedding and it comes out a disaster mommy to the rescue i will forever be able to keep their hair looking good and more importantly teach them how to care for their hair whether it is a wig a weave or their natural hair so i'm gonna go ahead and jump into this video this one comes courtesy of yg wigs they sent over this beautiful wig and there was no smoke and mirrors no craziness going on everything i did to complete this look and install this wig literally from taking the wig out of the box is start to finish begin beginner friendly I'm getting ahead of myself and of course I linked everything that I use so if you see me use something like oh what's that what's that spray what's the wig kit what's this all of it is listed and linked in the description box for you guys to check out um yeah so if you want to go ahead and get this fire look we're not going to the sink we don't have to bleach the knots we don't have to tint the lace we're going to do everything together so if you're interested in seeing how I got this look and learning a thing or two keep on watching Okay, jumping right into the video, this is the packaging. Of course, I'm gonna go ahead and put her on the mannequin head so we can prep her. She is 22 inches, 150% density. The dimensions are 13 by six, and this is HD Swiss lace. As I mentioned, we're gonna go ahead and attach her to the mannequin head right away, and we're gonna secure her with some T-pins. These are gonna to help to make sure that the wig doesn't slide around as we go ahead and style her. We're gonna be we're gonna be doing some light plucking today, so make sure you have a nice, fresh, sharp pair of tweezers. This is what the hairline and the wig itself is looking like. So step one is just gonna to be to straighten out the parting as much as possible. It definitely doesn't have to be perfect. You'll see I'm gonna go ahead and perfect it even more once the wig is on my head but you know you can try to get it the best you can that way we can stamp out that parting with the wax and the um electric hot comb you guys know this is my dynamic duo my favorite duo of all time to make sure my wigs looks flat and you know make it look melted and everything else you can find this in the description box the hot comb as well as the uh wax stick and i kind of take my time with this it looks like i only did a couple heat passes but i definitely spend a little bit of time here making sure that everything looks good i like to have it at the highest setting possible and just go slow and get it as flat as possible trust me it makes a huge difference if it's one thing you can change about or improve in your wig install and maintenance game it's just making sure that parting in that hairline looks super flat now i'm going to go ahead and move the hair backwards and we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of plucking now i will admit if i just turned the camera off and just went to work it would be so much easier but having the camera like directly in front and trying to find an angle to go in and tweeze and barely being able to see because it's not at eye level definitely makes it a little bit more of a challenge but anything for youtube anything to make sure that you guys can see what we're doing all along i promise to get better at this and just get my angles together but i definitely wanted you guys to see the process and what i'm doing of course i'm speeding through and then also of course i'm going to cut the clips a little bit i didn't get too extreme with this but i do want you guys to see that it's okay to at least break up the hairline you don't have to go in a whole lot and you know give arrogant hey but you can definitely go in and just give whoever you are whatever your first name is or your nickname is today i'm just giving ashley you know what i mean and i'm just making it as good as i can do with what i have going and of course there's room for improvement I can go in on a later date and tweeze out a little bit more if I see fit today we're going to be doing a completely no baby hair look so I wanted to make sure I broke up that um, hairline and make it look a little bit more customized so again I didn't go extreme but I just did enough to you know make it look like my little creation now I'm going in with that same dynamic duo I did the wax and brush that in really good and then just go in with the electric hot comb and make sure that everything just looks flat and we're going to repeat the same step on the opposite side and from here we're going to start curling
Okay, so now we're going to flip the wig around and begin to do our curls. Be sure to add a heat protectant. Here, because the hair has been color processed, it kind of is like showing where there are a little bit of flyaways. Usually when the hair is black or a natural black, you can't see these flyaways, but they're just a lot more apparent with blonde hair. So I'm just going to take that wax and just kind of lay down any flyaways that I've seen. Really didn't need any heat because it wasn't like bad or extreme. I just wanted everything to look smooth. Now I'm going to go in and just grab nice medium to large size sections, not necessarily, you know, trying to do the most. Again, when the camera is on and the tripod is there, it prevents you from being able to get back and forth. So honestly, you know, you want to take each piece and section it out nice, grab the comb, smooth it out, then go ahead and wand curl it. But to be honest, because everything is so far away and the tripod is in the way, I just grab the wand curler in my hands and just go to work and do the best that I can. And not to toot my own horn, but these came out amazing. These curls came out absolutely beautiful. Now, a step further would be to go ahead and just make sure you add a heat protectant beforehand and then also you can add a holding spray i like the big sexy hair that big red bottle that everyone has been using for what decades at least a decade that or um sebastian shapers is probably my number one favorite i'll have it linked in the description box but as you you know finish your curl you can kind of like lightly spray it and this will help to preserve it that way you know when you step away and do your hair and your makeup through the install process of putting the wig on your head the curls will you know maintain their integrity and everything Thing will stay nice and defined you'll see for me it definitely the curls definitely held um very 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 well but i wanted waves not extreme definition so that's why i didn't add any holding spray or anything like that also you'll notice that on the first half i was you know curling away from the face once we met in the center i started to go the opposite way so that on the other side it would also be away from the face Hopefully that makes sense. Now we're going to go ahead and finish these up really quickly and then we're going to start the install process. Okay, now we're ready to install. Make sure your hair is secured. Mine is not flat, to be honest, but this is a quick look at the inside construction of the cap. And voila, this is what she looks like on. The wig fits nice and snug. My parting was not straight, as I mentioned. So we're just gonna go through the install process. You guys have seen me do this a million times. I start off by making sure that the wig fits from ear to ear. If there is excess lace that covers the ear on each side or either side, I just cut that off. Um, and then from here, I'm just gonna cut off off the excess lace around the remainder of the wig typically I like to use an eyebrow razor but if I don't have one handy or not sharp then I'll just go in with my regular hair shears and get that removed here I am using the scissors and as you guys can see because I didn't have the razor on hand I'm just kind of using zigzag motions I like to, th to do this to kind of break up the hairline so it's not so straight and blunt and then from here we're going to do a glueless install you guys know I like to use a non-glue adhesive. Bedhead happens to be my favorite at the moment. I use it paired with a blow dryer and a cool setting. And then from here, I like to, to secure it and make sure it's super melted by taking it a step further with the elastic band. I put that on. I allow that to either air dry or blow dry on a hot setting. And then we'll do the rest. I think I'm going to go for sideburns today, but no baby hair.
Okay, now that the sideburns are done, as I promised, no baby hair. And I love the way it looks. It's giving very much big forehead, but we're going to roll with it. And I really do like it. I think it definitely helped to not, um, to actually go in and tweeze it out a little bit. Even though I did not go extreme, it definitely just broke it up. Even though the wig was definitely pre-plucked before I received it, you know, it's always good to go in and add at least a little bit of your own touch. From here, I'm just going to add a little powder to the hairline. So there's any place of discoloration, shall to my husband and his fine ass <laughs> but yeah i'm just gonna go in per and perfect it from here i straightened out the parting and just make sure that was stamped out added a little bit of powder to the hairline to make sure that that was also um you know covering up any imperfections from like glue adhesive or imperfections from my install process and yeah that's pretty much it Okay, one thing I can say is that, like, I used to do wigs pretty good, but lately I feel like my game, my wig game, my install game has elevated so much, so much so that I don't even feel like I necessarily need baby hair the way I used to. Look at that hairline. So effortlessly, who am I? Like, I started out doing wigs on YouTube because I absolutely did not know how to do hair. I've just seen a picture of me with my husband and my in-laws from when we first started dating before we even, or like probably the month we moved in together. And like, it literally was sitting on top of my head like a hat, no lace. It was kind of like when you used to do the, the um, Ming Lee had taught us how to do the prontos on YouTube and I used to do a pronto get like I think it was like a pack or two of hair and you just glue it down to that wig cap and it that nasty glue would get on your hair and you it was a hot mess but it got me through some days when I didn't have no money but the fact that I started doing YouTube because I was like I don't know how to do hair I don't know how to take care of my real hair I don't know how to put in wigs properly so I'm gonna start a YouTube and I'm gonna like document my journey and the fact that I've come such a long way I can say for sure that I am proud of me because like literally I have so much confidence in the way I do my hair that like I don't really ever intend on doing anyone else's hair but when my daughters are old enough to you know get their hair done and styled like I don't care if they want braids I don't care if they want you know clip-ins sew-ins real hair I'm gonna be a like jack of all trades when it comes to hair when my girls need me the most when they go through their teenage phase and their young adult phase they got the mama that's the goat with the hair so cheerleading competitions tournaments whatever the case may be i got it on lock one thing i forgot was to add a little concealer to the parting you kind of are okay if you don't use it like if you don't feel like using it you'll be all right um i'm just gonna add it because i thought about it but if i had forgotten and it was like tomorrow when I was editing this footage. I really wouldn't have been mad at it without. Like it wasn't bad without. She's giving body. She's giving life. And I love the fact that it came with a dark root. So that I will be able to make it blend. And just like when I wake up in the morning. And I don't have any makeup. I don't have to worry about looking crazy. Sometimes highlighted wigs with brown skin. Just makes you look a little bit more um, crazy and clownish in the morning when you wake up so it was definitely done uh the highlights on this one was definitely done very tasteful very woman of color friendly i don't know if you guys like it or care when i show you guys the package but i'm a creature of habit so i always have to show the package at the end let me know if you prefer me to or not to but as i mentioned this one came from yg wigs and they do have the tissue with their um logo on it and then here is an adjustable with wig band that you can attach to the wig to make it glueless the wig and the box was inside of a bag like so. It's kind of one of just those uh, drawstring backpacks. So this is perfect for storage as well. And this bag here had some nice goodies in it. Um, they gave me two of these clips. You guys know I love these for um, when I'm installing my wigs. Ooh, a nice pair of plain gold hoops. These actually would complement this wig so well if I threw them on right now. Actually might. Um, pack of wig caps baby hair brush and then I'm not sure if this is a shower cap, a bonnet, a scarf. Oh, it's a long bonnet. So like how this is on a longer side, I could put like the bonnet on and leave the hair hanging inside to protect it. So that's super nice. A lot of people are getting hip to the fact that a lot of people 
want to keep the uh you know wig hanging when they sleep oh that was nice and to match they give you the satin scrunchie so if you want to like put the hair into a pineapple or into like a low like twisted up bun um to preserve the wave you can do that and secure it with that and then a headband to secure the hairline so you have a three-piece set i'm actually going to keep up with that because that is the perfect three-piece set to keep your wig up but i'm going to go ahead and let you guys go and i'm going to go ahead and take some pictures and enjoy this beautiful wig and this fire hairline and the curls and the color and all that i'm going to do some tiktoks with the kids because they love when i give them a moment to tiktok with me but i'm ashley b deck thank you guys so much for watching and if you lasted this long in the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up be sure to check the description box before you head out there you will find all the details on this wig including a link and a list of everything i use a link to the wig as well as list and links of everything i use to complete the look so my wand curler all this everything everything that's you see me using this video including like the wig head and stuff are there in the description box so just go there and shop away and see what you need for your next install thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches